Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a VV only update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you all. Everyone say, where's Dashie? Where is Dashie? Um, there's a cat, Sweet Pea, over there. You can't really see her. Anyway, um, I'm going to start this off, and I guess I'll, I don't know what the title of the video will be, but uh, I just sold my blue chip Superman so that I could get a secret rare alligator Loki and I could net the rest of the gems. I could hold the gems for something else. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's finally done it. He's finally gone off the deep end. He's finally said, sayonara, I, I, off his meds. Not that I'm on any, but... Um, there's a couple of reasons why I did this. I, I did go live talking about this and, and a bunch of the market in general. But I do want to say that price is what you pay for something. What you get is the value. And I'll repeat that one more time. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. And I fully expect if it's just a one-to-one, -one, hey, um, if, if, if let's say they were the same, like, you know, should I get a Superman or an alligator, a secret or alligator Loki? If one of my Patreon members messaged me and I would say, well, you should probably get a Superman. <laughs> um, you know, that that's probably going to out... One Superman versus one Alligator Loki, that one Superman will outperform the one Alligator Loki. It's like, hey, I'm looking to buy an NFT, any any item. But, again, I, I say most likely, just because there's more than 10 times the amount of Superman as there are for uh, as there are for Seeker or Alligator Loki. So it, that does have the chance of being, you know, dumped a little bit more. And the growth with that will probably be a little bit slower, but, but steadier, where Alligator Loki is like this. But... Again, if you huddle through the long time, that it, it kind of makes sense why it um, huddle through a long time. It kind of makes sense why I'm going for it. And the other reason is because I already had 13 of them. Uh, I already had 13, and now I have 14. So by going and doing what I had done, I had raised the floor like another like $200, whatever, because there was one, and then you know. Uh, it was two point. It was two thousand. Then that next was two point two, um, and then that got bought. The, the floor was two point four for a little while, but but it went down to two point three. And I fully expect that, you know, if we get a crazy, awesome, fun announcement next week, you know, for the drop, that that goes below two thousand again, down to eighteen hundred. But again, short term, here's where I did this, and I guess long term also, because I already have thirteen, uh, had thirteen of them by buying one and raising the floor another two hundred dollars. I'm actually increasing the rest of my holdings $2,600. And with Superman, I, I have to wait for other people to do that. You know, I, I only had one. Um, even though that had, um, I sold it at like 32, it's up to 3,400 now. So it is, uh, it's actually increased since I sold it. So I, I recognize the fact that, again, Superman's blue chip, it is probably one of the best, if not the best looking on the app. It looks amazing. But for me, because I already have a bunch, uh, and again, Superman, a lot of the value is already built in. That's Superman. That is a blue chip. That is something that everyone's going to want. Except if you don't. You know, I watch Superman the Animated Series, and I watch Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, and I see a lot of the movies, and I have read Earth One. Uh, you know, one of those Superman comics. Really good about cat and the moon and that it's really good go, go read earth uh, superman earth one um but alligator loki is very very new his time is really only just beginning and the risk the big risk why this is so big is because you know god forbid um you know back in the day in the news there was a kid that got eaten by an alligator and you know god forbid you know that happens again and it becomes a major news story, and then you know some of the Disney executives say, "X out the alligator Loki. We do not need him. He is uh, not someone we want to uh, tango with right now." And well, then what happens? Then uh, the investment might not be so good. But if he decides to go on, and um, you know, uh, IGN.com on on Instagram, they had asked when uh, uh, who's your favorite alligator Lo or who's your favorite Loki? Who's your favorite variant? And again, it wasn't just anyone. It was IGN.com with 3.4 million followers. And I really should be following them, but, but, but I'm not. Um, 
they were they asked about a week ago about a week ago a week ago sorry who's your favorite new loki of 2022 you know they had sylvie they had uh president loki they had alligator loki at number two and if you go and you take a look all of these answers have alligator loki there is maybe one out of every 30 give or take that is not alligator loki that's a sylvie but you know again this is someone has 3.4 million viewers you know if you go and you take a look at emergency awesome emergency awesome is somebody that has uh well over so it's well over three is actually four million uh subscribers and has done videos saying that alligator loki is the superior loki you have the pet avengers uh you have loki season two you have the actual young avengers there's a lot of things that i, I think that if you go and ask anyone on that IGN threat, or, or anyone in general, uh, hey, uh, who, can, what can you tell me about Superman? No, oh, he wears a blue suit, he's got a red cape, he has like heat vision, and he's from Krypton, his real name is Clark Kent, you know, the, the basics. If you ask any person about Alligator Loki, unless they've seen the Loki series, they probably don't know who he is. They're probably just like, I don't know. So again, with a lot of the Superman's value being cooked in, and really not a lot of Loki. Again, he's so new, baby. Uh, I, I think that that makes for a better investment for me. And potentially, you know, in general. Now, I, I realize that Superman is most likely, again, blue chip, most likely the better one, you know, one for one. But because I have had 13, I have 14. And because I know that... Um, you know, Dr. Prophet had a bunch, and um, our one friend Alfred had, had a bunch, and we don't sell, that more than 10% of the Secret Rare Alligator Lokis are locked up. And like I said, we don't sell. Um, so it's not like it's a price manipulation, hey, let's you know, pump it up here, and then let's sell down here. Like, no, like that is, that is not happening. When you have somebody uh, or some people that, that don't need to sell because... Alfred Montaner, who has 192,000 subscribers on YouTube, uh, me, who's, you know, deemed as one of the first public only millionaires, and Dr. Prophet, who bought 100 Waltz and, like, you know, has 100 uh, Eddie Risos, probably doesn't need the funds and won't need to sell. Uh, so a, a bunch of us are, at, at least three of us anyway, have it, and that is why I think it is good you know, for us. And again, like I said, Disney execs could at any time be like, nah, too violent. We don't need them. Um, but, but that is the risk that I'm taking. And that is why I sold, I, again, I sold, sold lots of things. Um, I have a second Eddie Riso Batman. I'm probably going to keep it for a while. I'm going to keep most of the things that I have currently, and I'm going to add more, especially when, uh, only the NFT comes in. But if you have a lot of something, and even if it only raises a little bit, well, it actually raises a lot. For every $100 that raises, I get uh, $1,400. But also that works the opposite. For every $200 it loses, I lose $2,800. At least as far as net worth goes. And, you know, if you have a bunch of Superman, the same thing can be said for Superman. Um, but that is, my, that is why I'm doing things right now. Um, I don't think I am crazy. I think that this is something, it is a, it is a calculated risk, but um, I'm, I'm, again, just being straightforward here, letting you all know what I'm doing, because I always said I would be. Uh, any questions you have for me, comment down below. I get back to every single YouTube comment. It might take me a while, but I do. Everyone's comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good with the YouTube algorithm. I love you all. Everyone say bye-bye to Sweet Pea. You can't. Yeah. yeah. There she is. Okay, and I would say, where's Dashie? All right, I love you guys. Goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah.